Hello and welcome to Life Group tonight. Um, before we kick start into what we're going to be talking about this evening, I just want to remind you about two um, things that are happening in the church. The one is that whatever site you're at, uh, we're selling buckets that you can buy from the church and then go fill up with either groceries or stationery. And we're using those to send into a village up the north coast of KZN to bless uh, creches and uh, granny and child-led households. So they're an amazing way to get involved in Christmas, so don't forget about that. The second thing is, if you're a businessman, uh, we've got a businessman's breakfast happening in November here at the church and, uh, at Florida Road Campus. Uh, we've got quite an amazing speaker lined up, so wherever you go to church, if you want to come down for that, um, check out your bulletins and the website for a little bit more info. Tonight, um, we carry on with our uh, term four of building faith in ourselves and being encouraging to one another. Um, you're going to start off the group with a bit of testimony, about, if you haven't already, about what God's doing in your life and what He's saying to you. And once again tonight, you'll end off in praying for one another that faith will continue to build. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to read um, our key, one of our key verses in Philippians 4, plus a little bit extra beforehand. And as I'm reading here, you'll notice that Paul is giving his friends, the people, uh, brothers and sisters that he cares about, a list of things that they can replace in their hearts and in their minds and the way they think. As I'm reading it, uh, why don't you go, God, what's standing out to me? And why don't you just listen with ears about what God might be saying to you? So from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Friends, always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Telling God what you need and thanking Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace, God's peace, will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is pure and right and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Your life group leaders now are going to take you through a bunch of questions and faith-building exercises that we've got from this verse. Enjoy it and God bless. <laughs> 